Oh, now there you are, dinky do. A very good evening to you. Tis me, Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster, broadcasting live on Facebook Live, that great global platform. Dinky do to every one, a single one of you, I say. And welcome, welcome, welcome to our Sunday night program right across the globe. Now, I'm only with you for one hour, one hour of superb scintillating information, education, and entertainment just for you. Not just one nation, but all nations. Good evening, Scotty, says Ben Lucas. Good evening, Ben. Lovely to have you with us, of course. And excellent stuff. People are joining us as we speak. You can see it in front of you. And I shall also be keeping you up to date with what's happening during the program. So there are. Good evening, Scotty. Good evening, Steve. Lovely to have you with us. Steve Burrows, of course, with us tonight. Good evening, Scotty. I hope you've had a good weekend, says Thomas. I have indeed, Thomas. I have had a superb weekend. There will be news for you. Hello, Scotty. How's it hanging? Absolutely, Gordon Drysdale. And dinky-doo to you. Lovely to have you with us. Marvellous, marvellous stuff. Now, if you've just joined us every Sunday night at 9 o'clock sharp, Scotty McClue goes live, God willing, weather permitting, on Facebook Live. We are, of course, at the mercy of the algorithm, but nevertheless, here we are, and we are in business doing what we do best, broadcasting around the globe. So there we are. Scott McDade, dinky-doo, thumbs up to you as well. Marvellous to have you with us. Very intrigued about this news, says VJ. What are you intrigued about, VG? Oh, yes, what I've just told you about. Well, I do have news, although I can't necessarily spill. There we are. It's, uh, it's always a bit difficult to actually spill. This is what Sundays are made for. Uh, McClue goes live, says Mark Andrews. Absolutely, Mark. And we want to get as many people joining us as possible. <coughs> Here's everybody here, Andy McCrory. Good evening, Scotty Dinky-Doo. Hello, Scotty. How are you tonight? Says Brian Keswick. Stephen Weymouth, thank you do, Scotty. Good evening, Scotty. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> Hope you've had a great week. I have indeed. Hello, Scotty, says Anne-Marie Crone. Hello, Anne-Marie. Lovely to have you with us. Hi, Scotty. Were you out in the sun on Saturday? Did you have the bonnet on? Says Chris. Yes, I don't want to show you my sun mark, my water mark. So there you are. But I am the genuine article. I am Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet, and of course the world's top broadcaster. Even Scotty from Barnsley in South Yorkshire. I hope you're well, says Lee Fan. Lee Fan, dinky do, to everyone in Barnsley. I say, excellent stuff. Get the truth out, Scotty. Stop your carry on, says Rab. Dinky do, Rab. You stop your carry on. And uh, you've got the largy again, Scotty. <coughs> Just a wee touch, it's all they go down. I've got the seas of the day here, so I'll have a sip of tea. Mm. Martin is watching. Martin Rowe, Dinky Doo, come and join us. Uh, don't worry about me <coughs> coughing my way through the first part of the night. That'll settle down. So there we are. Now, uh, evening, Scotty boy. Sean and Steph joining you again tonight, as usual, from the beautiful kingdom of Fife. And as we all know, when you're supping with the Fifers, you have to use a lang spoon. So there we go, a lang spoon for the Fifers. Now, here's how it works, guys. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome to the Scotty McClue Show. Scotty McClue Live on Facebook Live. That's the big one, the one everyone's talking about and the one everyone's watching. Now, we have share points throughout the evening when it's a general share. That's at uh, quarter past nine, 9.15, 9.30, 9.45, and of course, 10 o'clock again, of course. So we've got plenty of share points there, but you can do your bit and share at any point during the program. Just share, share, share. You give my brother Dev a shout out, says VJ. Of course I can. A shout out to Dev, VJ's brother. Excellent stuff. Lee says, hope you enjoyed the great weather last week, Scotty. Got up to 28. 28 in Barnsley. That must be a world record. And uh, have you got the warmth too? Well, we have, but we've still got the cold wind. See, Lee, just to put you in the picture, the winter started in Scotland 
about two years ago. And it's still actually going on, although it was warm last night, I have to say. Scott McClue's live. The news is Jamie Hooper. I am Jamie. Very much so. You're right, Scotty. Bit of a cough there, says Steve Burrows. I had, Steve. I think what happens is when you move from the outside to the studio, your larynx adjusts to the heat. This wave of heat hits you when the lighting comes up. Did you celebrate Her Majesty's birthday? Uh, says Bob McLaughlin. I did a very, very happy birthday to Her Majesty the Queen yesterday, 92, a very, very great lady loved by everyone on the planet. Marvellous. It has the radio TV talks coming, Scotty. Very good, Mark. Um, I can't actually say too much right now, but uh, they're coming on very, very well. So I think you'll find Scotty McClue will definitely be appearing back on your wireless sets. So there we are. Uh, but uh, as I say, as soon as I can spill, I shall spill. As soon as I can spill, spill, I shall. Excellent stuff. Right, there you are. Ben Fasachale. Thank you, David McGurk. Come and join us. Um, I got the sun yesterday on the golf course of Kirk Hill in Camber's Lang, says Gordon Drysdale. How marvellous. Now, I don't golf. Hence the reason my career doesn't take off as big as it could do, right? Obviously, if I golfed, I would never be out of Sunset Boulevard and Hollywood. But that doesn't matter. I'm not prepared to spoil my walk for that or spoil the dog's walk. Having said that, and I think this is very, very important, a lot of golfers have told me that the golf courses in the UK are in not the best of condition. And I said, is this due to money with the um, the recession and austerity in the UK? And he said, no, due to the weather. So there you are. If you've got an experience, do let us know. Great news. I look forward to this, Mark. And me too, Mark. I love it, Scotty. I went to Whitley Bay yesterday, the most northern part of England. I've been to and it was only 14. It was 21 where I live. Lee, I know Whitley Bay very, very well. A lovely, lovely part of the world, actually. I usually stop at Whitley Bay on my tours. Thank you, do, Scotty, from Puerto Palenco in Mallorca. Lovely to have you with us. Puerto Palenco in Mallorca. Uh, see, my computer keeps freezing. Maybe I should stop putting it in the freezer, says Dino the dog. Yes, keep it out of the freezer, Dino. Good, Scotty. Can't wait for you to go back in the radio, says Thomas. Mm, yes, absolutely, Thomas. I thought he was did, says Robert softly. Robert, don't be ridiculous. Why would I be did? Uh, hello, sir, says Joseph. Hello, Joseph. Lovely to have you with us. Tell ten to tell ten to tell ten to tell ten about Scotty McClue. Live on Facebook Live. This is the big one. This is the one everyone is talking about and the one everyone is watching. And uh, there must be nothing worse than getting your balls stuck in the rough on a golf course. Absolutely, you have to go and look for them. You have to dig them out with your number two iron. Uh, so there you are. What's the purpose of this, says Lackey Brown? The purpose of this, Lackey, is so that the world can join hands together and be as one. So there we are. So I think that you'll find... There could not be a nobler purpose, Lackey Brun. Serious question to kick off. Do you think there's a rise in racial intolerance? It seems to me there's a bit of a ripple within politics in Europe, says Stephen Weirmouth. Well, they talk about the rise of the right. But, I mean, I think politics have moved to the right. I mean, how socialist would you say the Labour, the last Labour government in the UK actually were? So they tended to be centre and even a little bit to the right of centre at times. There you are. If you look at that, the champagne socialists, as they were known as. Um, so I think, uh, do you like fishing, says Rab? No, Rab, I don't actually do fishing. I did to throw them back. So there we are. So Lackey, I hope that answers your message. The purpose of this is noble, very noble indeed. Excellent stuff. Uh, what about Bella Free Bothwell? Did you ever hear about us as John Finley? Um, I haven't heard of Bella for some time, so Bella from Bothwell, if you're on Facebook and you're watching, then do for goodness sake um, give us a shout. Bella from Bothwell did a wonderful, wonderful decoupage for me, a decoupage. I'll see if I can show you. 
There it's there. Can you see that thistle? That's Bella from Bothwell's work. Decoupage. It's called Marvelous Lady. So she's about. Give us a shout, Bella. And uh, Alan Humphreys with us. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us, Alan. I say that's marvelous stuff. Would you like to come on my radio show? Says Fraser Ramsey. Of course, Fraser. It would be a privilege to come on your radio show. Just get in touch with me now. Sometimes I don't get to pick up my messages because I get thousands upon thousands of messages. So it's difficult to get through them all, just of the time to get through them all. Because uh, as you know, McClue is already maxed at the moment. But we will do something. Yo, Scotty, says Carl Carlos Donnelly. Yo, Carl Carlos Donnelly. Lovely to have you with us this Sunday evening live on Facebook Live on the Scotty McClue Live Show. Show number 84. How good's that? 84 live shows. Dinky do. Uh, Lee says, what are your thoughts on the attacks on the Syrian air bases this week by the UK, France and the USA? Well, I'm not sure just what these achieved, to be quite honest. I've taken cognizance of as many points of view as I possibly can. As you know, that's what McClude does. And then I stick my own oar in. But I'm not sure just to what extent we should be interfering in there. You know, I mean, this is something that's, it should be all discussed by Parliament. You know, you can't say that we're living in a democracy and everything's fine and then suddenly, bang, off somebody goes on their own with an idea. So they are very strange. We haven't heard a great deal about it since through official channels. Good to see you, Scotty, says Stephen Buck McDowell. And you, Stephen Buck McDowell, always good to see you. Good to see everyone on here. I totally agree, Scotty, says Lee Fan. So there we are. So I think there needs to be a bit more discussion and a bit more concerted discussion and then concerted solution. Uh, I believe the Tories are trying to vilify the working classes. Can't tell the difference between Labour and Conservatives now. I think that's right. Well, of course, we have the permanent government. You remember West, West, uh, Westminster and Yes Minister. So there we are. Excellent stuff. But, um, yeah, I think uh, what we're getting, we're getting a bit of the old right-wing stuff. That austerity was an absolute disaster. Uh, so there you are. And what we've got at the moment in the United Kingdom is a strong opposition and a weak government. Never the healthiest place to be politically, I have to say. What you really want is a strong government and a strong opposition. Uh, evening, Scotty. What's your opinion on Scotland having 50p per unit alcohol pricing? I don't mind, Charles, to be honest, because I no longer consume alcohol. Uh, so there you are. I'm not terribly bothered about it. But um, I don't know if it's going to stop Scott FM reject, says Michael T. Hansborough. There were never any rejects uh, at Scott FM. One or two dodgy callers, Michael. Now, I can't think of anybody I actually rejected. All comers were welcome. Why do people say daft as a brush when brushes aren't daft at all? Because, do you know the Doug, they don't actually complete the saying. The saying is actually as daft as a brush with no heed. So there you are. So you just have the brush handle. Um, but they don't use it. Do you like Jeremy Corbyn, says Louis Faber? I don't know Jeremy Corbyn, Louis, but what I admire about the man is that he sticks to his guns if you'll pardon the pun he actually uh, does what he says he'll do it he does what it says on his tin put it that way so there you are that's what i think of jeremy corbyn and i certainly never vilify any politician but i do think to myself deary 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 me sometimes scotty get up to the Macrina, get a laugh. I love listening to you on the radio growing up, says Ian Workman. Absolutely, and I love being on the radio. And of course, I will be on the radio again. I just can't spill any detail. Uh, so there you are. Being a closet anti-Semite, says Louis Faber. Now, Louis, what I'm going to tell you about this. Um, Anti-Semitism used to be people that hated Jews. That was anti-Semitism. Shocking, right? Now anti-Semitism is very often people who the Jews hate, right? And the one thing I would say is 
It's great to have a faith. It's great to be part of the world's great religions. Yeah, but let's not hide behind our religion. Yes, so let's be up front about a religion, but not hide behind it. So there you are. You're always going to get people of differing opinions. Yeah, but let's not call people anti-Semite just because they disapprove of some things that certain religions do. Yeah, from that point of view. So there we are, because anti-Semite is a, a very inflammatory term. Yeah, if you could just say, no, they disagree with certain aspects of the faith. That's a different thing. Yeah, so there we are. But obviously, because of what happened in the run-up to the Second World War and during the Second World War and since the Second World War, this has, um, has grown as a concept, the concept of anti-Semitism. And of course, you've got to be careful because if you cry wolf all the time, then the genuine um, side of anti-Semitism, the bit that should be tackled, gets lost in the argument and the debate and the fallout. That's what I would say there. Uh, hello, says Peter Ewing. Hello, Peter. Lovely to have you with us. There should have been a vote in Parliament before any attacks took place, says Lee Fan. I agree, Lee. Yes, I think if we've got a so-called democracy. I mean, this Brexit thing. The thing about Brexit, people say, well, it's not had the fallout that we thought it would have. It hasn't even started yet. They're just beginning to talk. Treating Jews differently to others is anti-Semitic. Well, treating anybody different to anyone is anti that person. So there we are. Certainly what Jeremy Corbyn has done. Well, as he says himself, and I don't speak for Jeremy Corbyn, but I know what he said, that there's certainly no intention towards that end. Scotty, you've been saying I'll be in the radio soon for five months. Get us telt. Rab, I can't get you telt. I cannot break confidences. I've been saying I'll be on the radio for five years. Abolish all religions, and then we can all get some peace, says Bobby McLaughlin. Not at all, Bobby. You wouldn't. Sorry I'm late. Well, you're here now. Don't worry. Gordon Drysdale. Scotty, my wife Yvonne says hello and dinky do. She wants to know how many bonnets you have. I have a substantial number of bonnets, Yvonne. I would need to count them. <clears throat> I remember um, agreeing a contract with a very big media company. And uh, they said at the end of it, they said, is there anything else you feel you require to carry out your show to the best extent? I said, I wouldn't mind a new bonnet. So if you've got a spare six pound, you get as one of them. Hi, Scotty. What do you think of Her Majesty's birthday concert? Do you think it was fair to put her through that ordeal, says Paul Smith? <laughs> Where does all your knowledge come from, Scotty? Says Robert softly. Robert, my knowledge comes from 50 years of reading everything that I can get my hands on, inwardly digesting, sorting it out, discussing it, recalling it, remembering it, that sort of thing. I had this discussion with a guy whose answer kept going, look it up, look it up on the internet. I said, I don't need to look it up on the internet. Remember, there was no internet when I used to have to do my stuff for three hours every night in a talk show. You had to do it all off the top of your head. So there you are. So that's where it comes from. I've got more bonnets, says Joe Markle. No bother, Joe. And uh, excellent stuff. Hi, Scotty. Love watching your show, says Ryan William Rear. Ryan William Rear, thank you very, very much. Very much appreciated. I love doing the shows because I love the togetherness of us all at this time on a Sunday evening. We are, of course, at the mercy of the algorithm who actually gets to see it. But let's press on. We're at show 84, and that's pretty fabulous. What's the future of the monarchy, given the Commonwealth is starting to modernize? Wouldn't it be right to have a head of the Commonwealth from the largest country in the Commonwealth, India? Very good point, Louis, yes. But you see, since the Commonwealth was born out of countries that were part of the old colonial Britain, it would be quite nice to have 
the curator of the Crown of Britain, i.e. as Her Majesty the Queen, she's the head of the Commonwealth at the moment, and it would be quite nice to have her ills and successors, but it is not axiomatic. So there you are. Perhaps Scotty McClue might become an interim head of the Commonwealth, you see. So there you are. Read a good book, says Joe Markle. Absolutely. And uh, what's the future of the monarchy? Yes, so we've done that one. So there you are. But yes, um, I think the common, the heads, joking apart, the heads of the Commonwealth governments should also take cognizance of what Her Majesty is saying as the head of the Commonwealth, but also decide on their future head. They should discuss it. So there we are. Her Majesty has just given them a good steer. Um, hope you're well, buddy, says Alan Mack. Absolutely, Alan. Lovely to have you with us. Dinky doo, Scotty McClue, just for you. Live on Facebook Live. One hour of superb scintillating information, education, and entertainment. Discussing everything that you want to discuss among ourselves. <clears throat> Missed hearing the voice. Glad I've stumbled on this video, says Stephen Cairns. Lovely. I'm very glad you have stumbled on the video, Stephen Cairns. And we're going to have a share in a minute. Let's do it now, guys. Get up and do it now. We are late with our sharing. Share, 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 share. I'm going to move you all to the side for a second. Now you can still see me there. So don't start writing in. And uh, what I'll do is I shall share it now. What I'll have to do... I'll have to refresh the page. You've got to refresh a bit sometimes. And I'll share this, guys. So there we are. Also, look down, scroll down, and see some of the stuff we've got. We've got some pretty fantastic stuff on here. So scroll down and see it all. Here I go as I talk. I'm going to have another sip of tea. <coughs> we touch of the luggage tonight. Mm. Maxed out. Very, very busy these days. If any of you are wanting my voice, a voiceover, a um, radio program, a television program, an advert done for television or radio, uh, a bit of public speaking, then do that. We'll find something to suit your budget. Don't panic. And if you've got a spare couple of quid, stick it into GoFundMe. You'll see it all at www.scotty-mcclue.com. Hi, Scotty. Sorry I'm late. I hope you've had a great day, says Alistair MacDonald. We have, Alistair. We've all had a great day. And uh, it's lovely to be getting together here. Uh, Lorna Smedley Hardale says, Good night, Scotty Kiss Kiss. She's obviously off for an early bath. Uh, I may be going to Scotland for the first time later this year. Can you recommend any great places to visit? Thank you in advance, Lee Fan. Lee Fan, Scotland is a great place to visit. <laughs> and it depends what you're after. Glasgow, Edinburgh. Stirling, Perth, Dundee, Aberdeen, Inverness, the Shetlands, the Orkneys. So there we are. Up the west coast, Allapool, Armadale, Achilty Bowie, Connell, Oban, Campbelltown, Ardrishig, Tarbot, depending what you want to see. I've done it, Scotty mate. Excellent stuff. Visit Wishaw. It's magic. I visited Wishaw, and it was magic. It was quite fantastic. So there you are. I'm just going to share this, guys. So this is going round big style. Share now, public, and that will let everybody know that we're on live. And uh, excellent, that's been shared. And I'll share it to the page, to the Scotty McClue page. So there we are. If all of you can keep sharing, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue. We're live on Facebook Live just for you shouting. Dinky do. I'll just put live now. Here we are. Just be with you in one second. Don't dash off. And as I say, if you can all share, that would be tremendous. Live now. And do we do an exclamation mark? What do you do for a live now? Exclamation mark. Come on to Coat Bridge and I'll get you a bottle. Annan, says Alan Brown. Annan! There you are. I uh, know Annan very, very well indeed. So there you are, a very fine part of the world. Lovely place. Red sandstone. Yes, now you're talking. There's a place. So Annan, 
down in uh, the Scottish borders there in Dumfries and Galloway. Annan, what a great place. Good suggestion, Alan Brown. Alan Brown in Washington, D.C., suggesting Annan is a great place to visit. So there we go. Wonderful stuff. Uh, let's have suggestions, please. Where would you all suggest that Lee Fern from Barnsley, Barnsley, you say, uh, where would you suggest Lee visits when he comes to Scotland? Let's get that one up. So there we are. Lovely to have you with us. Lots and lots of people watching. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. If you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClue. If you're an alien life form from another planet and you've never heard of me, I'll spell it for you. Capital S, small c, o, double t, i, e. That's the Scotty the McClue. Capital M, small c, capital C, l, u, e. David Fisher. Hi, Scotty. Hope you're well. I used to think Whitley Bay was not that far from Scotland. It's actually a couple of hours away. It depends on your car, Lee. Govan Hill, says Rab. So Rab would like you to visit Govan Hill, a fine, quaint old part. Louis Faber says Colin Tribe. Yes, Colin Tribe, the ferry going over to Robotach. Of course, Colin Tribe and Glendaroo. Excellent stuff where uh, wonderful old Scottish clans come from. The Glendaroo Highlanders. He um ba dee 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 Hello, says Andrew Duffy. Hello, Andrew. Bonnie Montrose, of course, says Robert McCarty. Yes, now there's another one. Cornusty, Arbroath, Montrose, Stonehaven, up the east coast there. <coughs> Ballater, says Ryan William Rear. Yes, Ballater, now you are talking, so there you are. And Balmoral and all that. Aaron! says Chris Kelly. Yes, Aaron. Very beautiful. Let's see. What places do we know in Aaron? Brodick, Whiting Bay, Loch Ranza, Corrie. Um, where else is there in Aaron? Come on, come on, come on. Goat Fell, the mountain, all that stuff. Where else can we mention in Aaron? When the steamer leaves open and passes Tyree, says Louis Faber, absolutely the dark island. Bonnie Rigg, says Gary Pride. Yes, Bonnie Rigg, very nice. Threw in, uh, would I be right in saying, uh, Midlothian for uh, for Bonnie Rigg. Um, what have we got here? Lag and Blackwater Foots has gone still. Yes, indeed, we forgot Blackwater Foot. So they are, sounds like the kind of place that American Native Indians, North American Native Indians would stay. Uh, we stay at Blackwater Foot. In, in Arran. Where else in Arran? So that's Black Waterfoot, Loch Ranza, Corrie, Whiting Bay, Brodick. Uh, where else did we get? Uh, Largs Vegas, says Stephen Cairns. Goat Fell, says Robert Softy. Yes, we got Goat Fell. Macduff, says Gordon Drysdale. Aye, Macduff yourself. Uh, Banff and Macduff along the Murray Firth coast there. Very nice. Bucky, of course, would be another one. The music of the spay. Did you get to see the whales in the clouds, says Andrew Duffy? No, but I was talking to a friend of mine who could see them from his house. And he said, we've got, uh, we've got, is it Orla? Orla whales that you've got there. Fantastic. Summerlee Heritage Park, says Rab Hill. <laughs> Out at Coat Brig. Paisley, says Peter Ewing. Yes, the home of the Paisley pattern and the Paisley shawl. Wonderful, wonderful place. Um, Machre, says God is still Blackpool. Blackpool's not in Scotland. Who's put in Blackpool there? He has to drive the A82 past Loch Lomond. Scotty, Loch Lomond it is. Inverbeg, a lovely drive. Inverbeg, very nice. Dippin, says Chris Kelly. Do you not mean Kippin? There one, Stillingshire. Kilmahog, says Julianne Scott. Salcoats, Scotty, says Thomas Hamilton. Salcoats, very nice, but it can smell a little bit um, seasidey. Lunan Bay, near to our both. I know Lunan Bay very well. Very pleasant. Good evening, Scotty, from Cumbria. So there we are. Grange Over Sands. Welcome from Grange Over Sands. Somebody says one of them washed up. Is there any truth in it? Do you know? One of the whales washed up. I don't know. I shall put this out to the globe and we will get it back. Somebody will come on. Southport, says Neil Tipping. Neil Tipping 
Southport's not in Scotland. So there we are. What a fine place it is. Full of Victorian houses. Good evening, Scotty, says Alex Robertson. Alex Robertson, dinky do to you. From me, Scotty McClue. The wee hurry chip shop in Trin, says Louis Faber. Yes, well worth a visit. So there we are. Evening, sir, says Paul Elliot. Dinky do, Paul. Loch Lomond, says Gary Crossan. Yes, but which part of Loch Lomond? Luss, Inverbeg. Where else would you say around the other side? Thanks all these suggestions just keep coming and coming, says Lee Fern, they do. This is what happens with Scotty McClue, Liam. You ask a question, you don't just get one answer. Linwood, says Peter Ewing. Linwood no more. Linwood is. So we can't have Linwood no more. Maybe there's not the, the, the Roots car plant there, but Linwood is uh, going itself there. Big business. The Garbles, says Steve Wearmouth. Yes, the Citizens Theatre. What about that? Cruden Bay. Ah, Cruden Bay. Very, very nice. Yes. Cape Wrath. Northwest tip of Scotland. <laughs> Drumsine, says Lewis Faber. Yes, over in uh, Drumsine is Loch Goyle Head. Is that right? Around there? And um, Southside Park, says Rab. <laughs> Milpert. Milpert is a lovely, lovely, lovely part of the world. I do agree with you. Baloch Scotty Dinky Doo. How long is he going on for? How long is he going for? Says Neil Tipping. Neil Tipping, one of the finest producers and wizards of the big switchboard on the Scotty McClue massive mighty megaphone in I have ever actually experienced when we used to do three hours of superb scintillating information and entertainment. Information, education and entertainment. Pit Lockery. Says Louis Faber, yes, the famous Pitt Lockery Theatre. The, um, I've worked there, marvellous, marvellous stuff. The uh, Fish Ladder at Pitt Lockery. The Black Spout, the, the, the Burn at Pitt Lockery. Um, Benny Vracky. Uh, Benny Glow. So there we are, all that sort of stuff. And um, down to the, the beautiful Loch that's there. So they're Comrie in Persia. Yes, now Comrie is old volcanic, I seem to remember. I think, uh, was there not an earthquake in Comrie thousands of years ago? Scotty, how are you? So Gene Smith, I'm wonderful, Gene. I can't believe the fantastic response to this wonderful program. Every Sunday night we're on show number 84. How amazing is that? Tell everyone, if you're watching right now, Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue. Live on the big one, Facebook Live, just for you. Dinky do. Can you tell where the viewers are watching from, says Paul Smith? No, not necessarily, Paul. I can also see a lot of people who aren't coming on, but they're watching some very, very, very big names. Interesting. Leith Docks, Scotty. Uh, yes, you know that. Well, I do, Leith Docks, because that's where Scott FM was based. Um, Albert Key, number one shed, up past the Green Welly truck shops, uh, Scotty, on the A85. The Green Welly, yes, absolutely, on the way up to um, Tindrum, yes, Tindrum. Uh, your tie's making me seasick, says Robert. Sorry, Robert, sorry about that. There we are, yes, the old sailing tie, you can't beat that. Uh, yes, Benchonzi Monroe is volcanic. So there we are, Louis. Louis, you're a very, very clever man, I have to say. Uh, you're a man after my own heart. Do you think smoking should be banned in cars, Scotty? Steve Burrows, I think smoking should be banned full stop. Ban the whole lot. Take smokers and put them, institutionalize them. Put them in a home for smokers. They're addicts, right? So there should be places that help. Smokers, but smokers should be taken out of society and off the street. All right, so there you are. So ban cigarette smoking, full stop. Cigars, pipes, the lot. Passe, gone, finished, game over. All right, um, so there we are. That's what I think. I like your tie, Scotty, says Thomas. Thank you, Thomas. Excellent, my maritime tie. Um, do you recommend a day in the Grampian Scotty? Could take my dog for a long walk. Yes, you've got to be careful. I'm a little bit cautious 
of hill walking and mountaineering and all that sort of stuff because of the number of accidents and fatalities and people who get lost can't get a mobile phone signal nowadays people who maybe slip and injure themselves i'm not saying that's why you should stop mountaineering or hill walking but i think we need to urge caution all right so there we are and also if you're taking a dog out for a long time in the hills you need to take some form of sustenance with you not just for you but for the dog so the dog's maybe going to need a wee dog energy bar and some fresh water on the journey drinking from the barns and things like that yeah well said smoking's not good for the health says dermot scotty mcvicar in british columbia in canada in vancouver is that right dermot scotty mcvicar and uh, scotty mcclue for prime minister says mark andrews so there you are do you think i would make a good uh, substitute for mrs may well, there we are what about the vapor cigs i absolutely hate them especially when i'm eating sir gene smith yeah i would ban vaping as well gene to be absolutely honest with you uh so there we are when they first came out i was um tending to push the vaping because it was so much better than cigarette smoking but in actual fact the chemicals are very dangerous in vaping as well what kind of dog have you got scotty we used to have westies and now Labradors, so there you are, Chris. So uh, we've got the little Labrador. Hello from sunny Morocco, Scotty boy. So Ronnie Stevenson, Ronnie Stevenson, one of the finest men you'll ever meet. And he is sunning himself in Morocco. And he's probably singing the old uh, theme tune, you know, we're on the road to Morocco. So there we are. Um, how does no one phone you, says Rab? Because I haven't asked them to phone me, Rab. Vancouver Island, Scotty, says Dermot Scotty McVicker. Dermot Scotty McVicker, you are one of the finest men that ever walked God's earth. And of course, I knew your father very well, and your mother, and your whole family, your sister, and your uncles and aunts. So there we are. Wonderful, lovely, lovely people. An absolute privilege to know you. So there you go. And uh, thank you so much for this advice, Scotty. We can always rely on you for full knowledge. Absolutely, Lee Fern. I look after my viewers. Very, very important. Uh, Viva la Scotty Revolution, says Louis Fiber. Absolutely, Louis. Thanks, everyone, for your suggestions. Much appreciated, says Lee Fern and Barnsley. Thank you very much, guys, for backing Lee there. Now, how are we doing share wise? Oh, my goodness. We're late again with the sharing. Can we all have a share right now? Share, 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 share. If you've just joined us, welcome to this Sunday night's program. It's show 84 of Scotty McClue Live. Show number 84. Scotty McClue Live. Excellent stuff. So we're sharing again. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. You maybe get a tune in the box later, guys, if you're good. Farfar, says Louis Faber. Now, if you go to Farfar, you can visit the lovely Glam's Castle, the Queen Mother's old house, the home of the, the Strathmores, the um, Earls and Countesses of Strathmore. Now, Glam's Castle is one of these places where I actually could treat it as home. I sat down in Glam's Castle and I thought, in the big drawing room, and I thought, you know, I could actually live here now. I wouldn't say that for many castles, right? Because they can be a bit frightening. You never lived until you've been in the Glasgow underground. Oh, the Spartic Cross and Seth Smock, Hill Heat and Merklin Street, says Robert McHardy. Absolutely, Robert. The old underground song. Ten in a row, says Rab Hill. Just shared the least I can do, says Lee. Lee, very, very much appreciated. Thank you. Uh, Phil Sign, come and join us. It doesn't seem five minutes since the first show I know. And we're at show 84. How cool is that? What's not to like, I say. Hello, Scotty from Greenock, says J. McMaster. J. McMaster, dinky do to you. Lovely to hear from Sunny Green Oak, a branch of the Green Oak tree. That's what we like. Now, I'm just going to share, guys, again, if that's okay. And I'll share to the Scotty McClue page and the Scotty McClue group. So get sharing to all your groups. 
Um, so there we are. Do you like Brian Lemon, a.k.a. Limmy? Says Louis. Yes, I do, but it's, um, it's interesting. You've got to keep up with that show. So there you are. But uh, yes, I do. And uh, Scotty, can you say hello to David Rendell? He's a good friend and he's just run out uh, of uh, his antipsychotic medicines, says Gordon. So there we are. Well, Gordon, could you not run out and get him some? Done it, Scotty, says Thomas. Thank you, Thomas. Very much appreciated. There we are. Everybody knows we're sharing, guys. And uh, I'm just going to do one more big share and see if I can get this out here. Right, because there's so many places to share it on Facebook. Share it with all your groups, guys, and all your friends. And go, what are you watching, Scotty, right now? David Rendall says, The Road and the Master Dundee on the box. I might play that. I would need to, I've not practiced it. I would need to make it up as I went along. So, news flash, what's new? And uh, Dinky Doo, says Ron Stewart. Dinky Doo, Ron. Lemmy's cracking. All right, Scotty, dinky do to you, says Michael Savage, Clareman. Yes, indeed. He is indeed excellent stuff. I do like these things. Now, uh, what have I got for you here? I'm just going to share in a group. I'll be with you in two seconds, guys, if you can all keep sharing. Scotty, have you seen my red yo-yo where we yellow string? Have you seen a red yo-yo, a red yo-yo? Have you seen a red yo-yo where we yellow string? Marvellous stuff. Right, there we are. All these Scottish classics. Wonderful. I, I'll just share this, guys. Just having a look down and see what's what. Excellent stuff. Yes. So I'm going to share there. Right. And say live now. Yep. So you've got people joining us. Oh, yeah. Now that'll do. And... There we go. Do you want an exclamation mark? Yeah. Oh, there's two W's. I think one will do. There's one W and an exclamation mark. Live now. Isn't it funny when you're doing your own typing, uh, the simplest words you can make an absolute pig's ear of. Uh, so there we are. I'd like to meet you, Scotty, and go for a cup of coffee, says Thomas. I don't actually drink coffee, Thomas. I'll tell you when I last had coffee. Uh, it was 1982. Two, although I, I think I had a cup by accident somebody made me and I thought it might be rude not to drink it but since 1982 to how long's that is that 36 years since I've had a coffee can you not play the bagpipes says Stephen Weymouth my father was a great piper my grandfather was a great piper uh, and I can tune the bagpipes there you are and get a sort of tune out of them so there we are Sydney Divine answer to everything an absolute cracker says Rabbit. Excellent. Met said, lovely guy. Absolute gem. So there we go. Now, I'm just going to um, redo this page. Did you want the Road of the Master and D in the box? We've got to get you back on the radio, Scotty, says Steve Burrows. I know, Steve. How fantastic is that? So there we are. Right, folks. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue live. We're global. We're international. We're throughout the world. We are at the mercy of the um, Facebook Live algorithm, how many people see us, but we'll see how many we can. And uh, got to get you back. Absolutely, give me some hearts and some thumbs up, guys. So start going tap, 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 tap on your screens so that I can see what's going on. How are we doing? We're time for time. It's coming up to another share. Uh, so there we are. Now, I will get the box and see if I can do the Road of the Master Dundee. But if I'm not terribly good at it, then I'm afraid that's your problem, not mine. Okay, so here we go. Oh, pardon me. Here is the box, so you can see I like to show the box because Gordon Sterling is one, only one of millions of a doubting Thomas. So I have to show the box to say that it's actually live. But give us some hearts and some thumbs up. Hello, Scotty, all the way down in Redditch. David Abram, how lovely to hear from you from Redditch. Am I not thinking that is the home of needles? So there we are, Redditch. So there we are. Am I right? Excellent hearts from Thomas. Lovely. Love the box, says Peter Ewing. What are we playing? Uh, remind me, what did we say we were going to play? Scotty, you're a legend. You're a fantastic radio presenter, 
says Steve Burrows. I thank you, Steve. I didn't set out to be, but people tend to like it. So there we are. Right. What did we say when we were playing? Come on, the song. Do you do requests? Finish your act outside, McClure. Right, hurry up. <clears throat> there we are. Thanks, Scotty, says David. No bother, David. <laughs> Master D, was that right? Uh, it was to your halfway playing, and then the phone just enjoys his rap. Absolutely, the road and the miles, the road and the miles did indeed. Cold winter was howling o'er moor and o'er mountain, and wild was the storm on the dark raging sea. When I met about daybreak a bonny young lassie who asked me the road and the miles to Dundee. So there you are. Excellent stuff. Uh, well played, Scotty, says Thomas. Thank you very much. Pack up your troubles in your old kit bag and smile, 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 says Jay McMaster. Brilliant, Scotty, says Gordon Drysdale. Well, Gordon, I have to hold my hands up. I hadn't done any practice. I didn't really know the song, so I had to just have a bit of a go there. You know what I mean? I was kind of uh, caught in the moment. Do you know what I mean? Caught in the headlamps. I thought, road on the master and do. Right, here we go. Excellent stuff. That was very moving rendition, Scotty. Thank you, says Gordon Sterling. Gordon, please, please, dry your eyes, my boy. You could do so much better on the pipes. I know that. Play Amazing Grace. It's a brilliant tune, says Rab. Yes, 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 it is, it is. Dinky-doo, Scotty. Wadge has joined us. So there we are. Wadge Hat Hashmi. Lovely to have you with us, Wadge. Excellent stuff. And Dinky-doo, if you've just joined us, folks... A very, very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster and first lord of the internet, live on Facebook Live, the world's top broadcast platform. We are global. People are watching us throughout the world, India, Africa, Canada, America, uh, Madagascar, Tasmania, the Arctic, the Antarctic. The camera's frozen. That's maybe because we're at the Arctic and the Antarctic, Paul McNally. Um, I have I heard right that snow is forecast this week in Scotland. The seasons have gone all to pot. One week hot weather, next week snow. Lee Fern, no, there's nothing uh, gone to pot about snow in Scotland in April. I can tell you that. Uh, David Rendall will be green. Will be greeting into his Horlicks after that wonderful tune. So there you are. Can you play Highland Cathedral? We got piped out to that in our wedding day. Says Gordon Drysdale. I need to. Plug in the keyboard. Can we get a two-hour show? An hour's not long enough, says Steve Burrows. Oh, Steve, trust me, trust me. For certain people throughout the globe, an hour is more than long enough. So there we are. Is an hour long enough for your folks? Play O'Reilly's Daughter, Scotty. There's a challenge, says Stephen Weirmouth. No, no, McClure could play anything. Just not always terribly well. You're a top man, Scotty, says Ron Stewart. So are you, Ron Stewart. Think you do. That's an all. You can he play it, says Rab Hill. Of course I can play it. The road and the master indeed, the flowers of Scotland, says Robert McHardy. Now, Flower of Scotland, of course, was written by um, the wonderful Roy Williamson. 50% of the Corries, right? Or um, a quarter of the Corrie folk trio and Paddy Bell, when, uh, when that used to be around. And uh, Roy, sadly, not with us earthwise, but he is, of course, uh, with us spiritwise. So there you are. And um, he was a, a, a Gordonstonian, an OG, and uh, he wrote Flower of Scotland. It's based on the chorus of the Hebrew slaves from uh, the opera uh, Nabucco. So there you are. So you'll have heard that the chorus of the Hebrew slaves go, Speed your journey, la 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 la. And Flower of Scotland goes, Oh, Flower of Scotland. Yeah? 
Do you hear that? So there you are. There's a wee bit of knowledge for you. The Northern Lights of Old Aberdeen. Yes, we could do that one. And I was not long enough. Ginny with the light brown hair. Oh, now, David, that is rather a lovely thing. Yes, absolutely. Scotty, if I'm not mistaken, you had a three-hour show on Hallam FM. We did, Lee. We started at 10 o'clock in the evening and finished at 1 in the morning. Five nights a week. So there you are. And the same at Scott FM. I've done 40,000 hours of live unscripted broadcasting on television and radio. There we are, 35 radio stations throughout the UK, if you include the syndications. And it, it will all come back. So there you go. <coughs> Tanner Thornburg says no. <laughs> I don't know what you mean by no. Tanner, no means no, of course. But what does no relate to in your uh, point? Thomas Hamilton, good night, Scotty. Have a good week. Okay, mate. Lots of arts. Absolutely, Thomas. You take great care of yourself. And dinky do from everybody around the world. Hi, says John Ryan Ferrete. Hi, Art. Tara Thornburg says Lee Ear. I don't know if that's a song, a Lee Ear. Uh, you could do 25 minutes and repeat it every night, says Gordon Stirling. Absolutely, we could, Gordon. Well, once we get to show 100, I might do some other things and send the shows around the network for you. Century 106, says Steve Burrows, absolutely, yes, wonderful. We were in Century 106 across the Midlands, and uh, an hour a week isn't enough. An hour a night, seven nights a week would be fine, says Stephen Wearmouth. Would you like that, Stephen? Shall we get on and do that? What happens if the clocks go back during your broadcast, says Callum Fash Stewart? Well, we just announced it. We said, go and put your clocks back right now. But in, in actual fact... If you think about it, when there is a clock change between Greenwich Mean Time and British Summer Time, Spring Forward, Fall Back, then um, it doesn't actually take place till 2 o'clock in the morning. And the Scotty McClure show finished at 1 o'clock in the morning. So there you are. Do you see? Do you see the difference there? Do you follow me? So there we are. Tanner Thornburg, what are we saying? Uh, ho, ho, ho. He says he must be Santa Claus. So there we are. And uh, a big hello from Sonny Johnston. From Val and Ian. Val and Ian. Lovely. Lovely to have you with us. My goodness me. I'm just looking at the time. It doesn't have fly when you're enjoying yourself. Time flies when you are enjoying yourself, folks. So there we go. What a super show tonight, though. Uh, good morning, Scotty from Australia, says Erica Mayer. Erica, lovely to have you with us. And dinky do. And morning to you, Cobber. From Australia. Lovely to have you with us. You need a TV chat show. You'd be a ratings winner. So there we are. And uh, says Lee Fern, and He says it'd be more popular. He names a well-known broadcaster. In fact, one that replaced me on the radio uh, when I moved on. Uh, thanks for explaining. But the Late Late Show with Scotty McClue has a ring to it, says Callum Fash Stewart. Now, Callum Fash Stewart... I take my bonnet off to you. I won't at the moment because I don't want to shock the nation. But um, I do take my bonnet off to you and I thank you so much for all your support over the last 20 years, 25 years maybe. Scotty McClue, um, the Scotty McClue phone-ins are 26 years old in about eight weeks' time. How amazing is that? We have no time now, says Michael McGuigan. I... Lovely woman, God stop lost all, says Thomas Maxwell. I don't know if that's some sort of code, Thomas. I don't know if you work for um, a, a coding company. Another fantastic show, Scotty, says Steve Burroughs. Here's a word to describe you, Scotty. Kuthi. Kuthi. Yes. Now, that's interesting because down south, in a uh, Manchester and Liverpool, the northwest of England, they've got a word kushti. If something's kushti, it's comfortable. And I'm wondering if kushti and kuthi have a similar root in language. So there you are. See, the bees are back, Scotty. That's the high bees, says Dino the Dug. So there you go. Very nice Easter Road, Dino the Dug. Are you getting yourself down there? And uh, I thought you were a big jam tart. Uh, but there we are. Jim McMaster 
sends lots of good things. Can we have some more um, hearts and all that sort of stuff, guys? Very, very important. So there you are. What is the time? I'm beginning to think it must be time up. Uh, I, I can't really see from here. There we are. I have to sort this clock. The lights are so bright. Remember staying up to listen to the phone in. Lol. I must have been about eight or nine years old, says Stephen Gaines. I don't know what age are you now, Stephen. Do tell. I have a question for you, Scotty. What's the right way to say your cap? I would like to buy one. It's a, 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 a flat cap, a gentleman's flat cap, or a bunnet. B-U-N-N-E. Is there two T's in bunnet or one T, folks? So there we are. Been a great show tonight, says Lee Fan. Absolutely, Lee Fan. And you have made that show, so you keep them coming, Lee Fan. Very, very important. Excellent stuff, that. And uh, it's about time you got back on. What's happening? Get us, tell us, Rab. Rab, you don't seem to understand. Scotty McClue going on the radio full time is not up to me. It's up to the proprietors of the radio stations. So there we are. Uh, excellent stuff. It's five past nine, Scotty. Right, time to push off. Thank you, Scotty, says Erica Meyer. Warm and friendly is Kuthi, says Robert McHardy. Right, I'm going to push off, guys. It's been an absolute privilege being with you tonight. I'll sing you the song. Are you ready? 9.58, Scotty, says Thomas. Good. Uh, we've got another 30 minutes yet, says Steve Boris. <laughs> you guys are funny. You really are. Uh, and everything. Hi, Scotty, says Lynn O'Brien. Lynn O'Brien, dinky do. Lovely to hear from you. A superb lady. Bun et. So one T. Go home. You could start in a sci fi movie. Oh, E.T. Go home. Callum Fair Stewart. Somebody was asking last night, what movie, if you could appear in a movie, what movie would you would you appear in and what part would you like to play? So I just said E.T. <laughs> They are. No squeeze boxes, Erica. You just missed it, Erica, with the squeeze box earlier. Good night, mates. This is Thomas Hamilton. Good night, everybody. Thank you for a fantastic show tonight. Spend your week sharing and sharing and sharing and sharing. So there we are. Share so much you'd think sharing was going out of fashion. And uh, this is show 84. It is mega. It is awesome. You Guys, make it. This is the Globe's top talk show. And you guys make it. Until we all meet again next week at the same time, God willing, weather permitting, GWWP, this is Scotty McClue saying dinky-doo to every single one of you. Have a fantastic week, guys. Love every second of it. Love every second of being you. Remember, it's a great thing to be. From me, Scotty McClue, and all of us here, I say to every single one of you, dinky-doo, I'll sing you the song. Are you ready? Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Of waiters, they know. Au revoir and a cheery oh. Dinky-doo, everybody. Scotty McClue has left the building. Woo!